Hi guys, welcome to another Shout in Electronics. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert a 5 pin DMX connector. Hopefully, you can see it there, it's got 5 pins in this connector, down to a 3 pin connector. Now, why would we want to do that? Well, mostly the higher end lighting equipment that uses DMX uses the 5 pin connectors, okay? This is a CAMSYS interface that goes onto the computer and using their software it goes and converts the signal into the DMX line that goes through to all your light fittings and things like that. So if you've got the more higher end equipment and all that you will have the 5 pin connectors then this DMX full would work for you. They do the DMX basic, also CAMSYS made, that does the same thing except it's got a 5 hour trial limit so you can use it for five hours and then you have to unplug and replug the dongle and restart the software which is okay for testing and for smaller shows this one comes with the three pin connector as you can see over there hopefully but now the problem is your cheaper lighting also comes with the three pin connectors let me show you over here i've got one of these cheap 18 one watt pars or whatever even though i doubt it's 18 by one watt chips if you look over there over there, sorry, the camera it's back to front. It's got the three pin XLR connector. Okay, if we look at another one, if we look at this hybrid HMH Gobo, if you look at my previous video, of it, I'll put a little link to it or a little tag or something, you'll see that I've just worked on one of these fittings. If you look over there, it's also got a three pin connector. So that's fine. I can easily take the basic. Um, trial or time limited version and plug it into these fittings because these are the cheaper fittings these aren't the professional ones but if I go for the 5 pin connector it's not going to go in so I'm going to show you we're going to take the connector off this Magic DMX full dongle and we are going to put a 3 pin connector on and it's easy as 1 to 1 2 to 2 3 to 3 so let me show you how to do that conversion, which means you'll be able to use the Magic DMX full interface with our cheaper lighting equipment and our cheaper cabling that's already in there with the three pin connectors on it. So let me show you there. Okay, so you start with a workbench. That's the easy part. Okay, so I have got my new connector over here. It's not the same Nutrix branded ones. I think this is Nutrix. Oh, it is Nutrix. Yeah, Nutrix down at the bottom there, okay. That's the old one. The new one's just cheap, what we can get at the lighting store. Okay. So let's open up the new connector first. And remember the order that you're going to put this back in, please. Take all that out. And if you look on the connector here, I don't know how well it shows up on camera, but there's a bit of dirt on there never been used this connector so we got pin one let's try there it should have a little one next to it pin two and pin three okay the five pin DMX connector has five pins okay let's open that here let's put that somewhere else so we don't lose it it's got five pins but if we look here we are only using pins one two and three okay so we are going to just take this off and we're going to put it on there easy okay so we're going to make a note first of what pins go away because it's always good to make notes okay so on the five pin connectors it goes one two three so one is black wow well, it looks like black, but it's actually a screen with a heat shrink sleeving on it there. Okay, then pin 2 and pin 3, which is your daughter's. Pin 2 is on this interface is blue. And pin 3 is red. Pin 4 and pin 5 are not connected, as you can see there. And the chassis is not really connected to anything. All the, oh yeah, see that tab over there? That's the chassis tab, so that's not connected. So chassis is not connected. 
So this is easy. We are going to take this connector off. We're just going to connect it to pins one, two, three, and we are done. Okay, so first, why is my swirling? Looks to me like they have used unleaded solder here. Because this is, I believe this is made in UK. Yo. So it's a nightmare for the soldering iron to melt this. Yo. Because the leaded solder is no uses a lower temperature than the unleaded solder. Let me just remove these bridges. Okay, so now I am going to put this back into his proper shell. To the Nutrix shell, and I'm going to take the those parts off and I'm going to put them in there as well just so we know that that is a 5 pin connector of course I'm going to have to label this because that's the only way you could really tell the difference unless you look in the software is by the number of pins on the connector okay so remember to put the boots on first the, the back end of it also you're going to solder it in and then you're going to have to just undo your soldering again okay and then do it again Okay, so that goes in there, and then this one just goes in like that. Okay, so this is for the new for the new connector. Okay, and this will go on just now. And here's our new connector. Okay, now I mangled these ends. When I'm trying to remove them, so I'm just going to trim them a bit. Twisted sister. And then I'm just going to tin them with leaded solder. It's okay because I'm not sending this to the UK. If it was for the UK, you'd have to use unleaded solder. And all these Rosh compliance countries. Okay. So there, I've tinned the ends of the wires neatly. I'm going to go ahead and put solder into these three cups on the back of the connector here. And believe me, we're almost done. Okay, so just put the soldering on, on the pin and on the solder. I'm not going to give you a soldering tutorial. That's what YouTube's for. Okay, so now I've got a nice solder wetted on there and on my wires. So let's start with pin one. Actually, see the pin one is the screen one. I'm going to start with the red and blue because they are. Oh, sorry. I'm going to start with the red and blue because they are more flexible and it's easier to bend it around. Okay, so pin two is blue. So if I look on this connector, pin two, according to the number on the connector, okay, is over there. So I'm just going to. Heat that up. And hold it and hold it. Looks like it's flowed properly. Pin three is the center pin in these connectors, in the three pin connector. Okay, almost there. Now we just connect the screen onto pin one and we make sure it is pin one. Yes. Some people that sold a lot of these connectors, they actually make a jig that's got the opposite, that's got the males 
stuck into a block of wood or whatever, then they just plug the female connector on and solder the back. It just holds it so much neater. But if you're just doing a once-off one like this, then it's okay. So I'm just flexing them a bit, making sure they're not moving too much. Remember, I've got all that on. I'm going to put this little identifier thing on here, although I don't really need it. Align the little... Sorry. Let me zoom out a bit here. Align that little tab with the little spring part. Oh, there we go. It was just getting snagged up on this little spring metal piece and that little clip. Okay, so now, slide this little cable clump, crumpy thingy on. Slide that on, and there we go. We've got our three pin connector on our Magic DMX full, non-time-limited interface, our Magic DMX full. Okay, using the old soldering iron, not the one I normally use, on that little blue label, I don't know if you can read it there, I have melted in the words full, full, just so I know that this is the full interface, not the basic interface when it's in the field. So now if we take our lights, there's our light. Here is our Magic DMX full with a three pin connector now. And we just pop it in. Done. Perfect. It'll work with the cheaper lights. Okay, I forgot to mention that you do get three pin to five pin and five pin to three pin converters and adapters and that. But I didn't have any on hand and I need to actually put this into use tomorrow. That's why I've just done a conversion like this. It's also one less point of failure if you have one less adapter in the circuit. It's just nicer and it's easier to swap around if if this full interface does fail for whatever reason watch my previous videos you'll see what causes them to fail then we can easily go and just unplug it and plug a basic in and then use it for five hours whatever until we can get up and running again so i hope you learned something interesting about these magic q magic dmx full and basic interfaces and the connectors that they come with so just remember the basic interface has the three pins on it and it can only run for five hours before you have to unplug and replug the dongle and restart the program. The full one comes with the five pin interface and it's non-time restricted. But then you have to make sure you've got the right type of adapters or the right type of XLR Canon connector or DMX connector, whatever you want to call it, to match your lighting. If you've got the more expensive lighting, five pin, if you've got the cheaper lighting then it is a three pin hope you enjoyed this video and please if you like the video hit the like button at the bottom bottom that side maybe and then hit the subscribe button and also hit that little bell and then whenever we load more videos you'll get notified as soon as that happens thanks guys